So in this video lecture, I am going to give you an insight about what is the magnetic field intensity on the axis of a circular coil. Here you can see that a gray circular coil here we can see that a current I is flowing through this coil and O is the center of the, the coil and A is the, the radius of the coil. And point A there we can see a current A element DL. So on the axis the P is a point which a distance of D from the origin of the coil. And if you take the current element, it is at a distance r from the uh, point P. And theta is the angle made by joining these two lines. So earlier we studied that what is the magnetic field intensity at any point due to the, the differential current element DL is uh, using the bio star star row we can uh, uh, write on us DB. That is uh, the small magnetic field in density at point P due to this uh, differential element DL is mu naught times I DL that is the current element which is on 4 pi R square and sine theta. So you might get some confused that why the theta here, why it is not here. So, so if this is a conductor, if it is a differential element, if this is the point P, then normally we take this as the angle theta. And if you here, if you draw a line, the parallel to the axis, this is a line. This, so these two lines are parallel each other. If you take angle theta here, so both these angles are same. Now if you look at this triangle, we can see that R is a square plus d square. And what is the sine theta? So sine theta goes right to here. So sine theta is opposite side a by r. But r is a square plus d square. So we can write down db as b naught i dl 4 pi r square, 4 pi r square, r square is a square plus d square, and multiplied with the sine theta, sine theta is a by a square plus d square, square, square root. Now this becomes mu naught i dl times a by 4 pi so a square plus d square into a square plus d square all power 1 by 2 that is it become a square plus d square all power 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 so 3 by 2 this is a magnetic flux density due to this current element and what would be the magnetic flux density at on the axis of the coil due to the the entire length so for that we need to integrate the function db so we can take it out mu naught i a 4 pi so a is a geometrical constant d is also geometrical constant this is not going to change uh, the dl that we need to integrate uh, here we can see that the radius of this uh, coil is a so the complete circumference is 2 pi a so when you integrate this dl so it becomes 2 pi a so we can write down b as mu naught i a 4 pi a square plus d square all power 3 by 2 and the integration of d is 2 pi a so this pi pi get cancelled and here it become 2 so this become mu naught i a square 2 a square plus d square all power 3 by 2 Weber per meter square so this is uh, 
the expression of the magnetic flux density at point P. Now we can connect this with H because B equal to mu naught H if it is in the air. So H is B by mu naught. So H become if you take out this mu naught H become I A square to A square plus B square all power 3 by 2. So this is ampere per meter. This is the magnetic field intensity at point P. This is the field intensity at point P. The P is uh, D distance from the center of the coil. Now let us see that what is the magnetic field intensity and magnetic flux density at the center of this coil. That means if you take it at a, the point P here, the D becomes zero. at the center so p become d become zero so b become this is mu naught i a square by two a square so d become zero a square times 3 by 2 that means 3 by 2 so 2 2 get cancelled so a cube comes here so a square and a cube so finally we can write down as mu naught i by 2 a so this is the magnetic flux density at the center of the coil. So field intensity is B by mu, mu naught. Field intensity become I by 2A ampere per meter. So you can use this expression to find what is the magnetic field intensity and flux density at the center of the coil and these two expressions to find out what is the magnetic field intensity at any point that is the distance d from the center of the coil.